uh, he's worked at both spots. a and is really good at stopping the run. What are some of the emphasis you're going to be stressing in your run game this week to try to be successful? Yeah, they're good at stopping the run. They're good at getting after the quarterback, too. Um, you know, uh, first of all, they got really good skill. Um, and when I say that, I'm talking about their big skill up front, too. Um, they're physical. They're dynamic. They're thick. Uh, they play strong. They're multiple up, up front. Um, they've created a bunch of negative yardage plays in, in the run game. And uh, that's given them the ability to get, go get after the quarterback, uh, second and long, third and long, too. So uh, you got to do a great job in communication. Um, you got to win some one on ones when you're in a one on one. Your double team's got to be good enough to, to change the way the, the line of scrimmage looks, too. So um, big test for us uh, up front and, and across the board offensively. What are some characteristics of a Bobby Petrino led offense, specifically this one you'll face? Uh, well, first of all, I, I've said it already, they got really good personnel. Uh, quarterback's a smart decision maker. Um, he's able to extend and make some plays with the, his arm, um, but he's always got some balance in, in what he does too. So uh, we got to do a good job in the run game and, and be able to handle um, all the different pass concepts that you're going to see from him. With, uh, with Chaz and Caleb taking that spot from Baru, uh, what do they do? Or Dante, too. Or, <laughs> right, right, right. What do they uh, do maybe differently than what Baru does, and how do you – does the offense change at all with their skill sets? Yeah, offense won't, won't really change. Uh, those guys have been involved in uh, perimeter screens where they're the, the ball carrier. They've been involved where they're uh, the blocker, um, you know, offensively. Uh, we feel good about their development. Um, you know, they got to – practice where well, prepare well, and, and get themselves in a position to go play well. Uh, we certainly expect that from them, and I know they're excited about the opportunity. Same position at that wide receiver. Uh, do you feel like you could go into the game knowing you're going to use two or three of those guys? Do you think it will become more evident in the game which one fits best? I expect all of them to, to play at a high level. Um, we're going to need all of those guys. Um, that will be – through the course of Saturday, but also throughout the course of the season. So I expect to, to see all those guys. Do you, do you think all, all three will actually play with the number one offense? When you talk about all it's three. Dante, Caleb, and I anticipate Dante again. Uh, you know, we're on the grass today, and, and uh, we'll see how the week unfolds. But uh, absolutely anticipate seeing all those guys play on Saturday. How much can the tight ends also help make up for Brew's loss, especially with Jacob getting going uh, against South Carolina in, in the receiving game? And then what, what does McCollin need to do to maybe bounce back from a, a couple plays there against South Carolina? Bounce back. Don't let one, one play affect another play. Um, being able to reset, extremely important at every position when you're a competitor and you're going to play for 60 minutes. Um, not every play is going to go your way. It won't on Saturday. Don't expect our guys to play perfect. We strive for it, but that's just not the nature of, of this game. Uh, there's good players on the other side. They got coaches that are scheming it too, so it's not going to be perfect. Understand that. Reset and go play as hard as you can from snap to whistle. Um, Callie will do that, man. He's a, he's a really good player. So um, the tight ends, uh, yeah, they'll be a part of, of what we do in the passing game. Need them to continue to come on. They've created some big plays, some big plays that you know we're close on too with them. So um, they'll be a, a factor in the game. What impresses you the most about Max Johnson's game, and have you seen a difference in film from A&M once the quarterback change came? Not, not a ton of difference in them. Uh, both of them were able to extend and, and make plays. I don't think they philosophically have changed uh, what they're doing. Uh, Max is a guy that's played a lot of football. Uh, he's played in a lot of different environments. Um, does a really good job of, of taking care of the football. Um, he has the ability to extend and make plays and throw the football down the field when, when the play breaks down or when he's got pressure on him. And, and uh, so we got to do a great job of matching guys out, out on the perimeter. Josh, obviously it's early in the season relatively, but, but Jacob Warren's on pace to do more than he did last season in terms of just physical production. How, how much, if any, different is he as a player? How much has he changed since last year? Or is that just the ball finding him more often? Um, sometimes it can just be the ball finding him uh, based on the coverages that, that you're seeing. Um, but I also think Jacob's uh, developed as uh, a dynamic leader uh, for us on the offensive side of the football. He's had continued physical development, which has allowed him to, to play his best football that he has up until now. Fundamentally, uh, that's in the pass game, but it's also what he's doing inside of the core, too, in the run game. He's been really good.
You mentioned getting healthy at the quarterback club. You mentioned trying to get Danico Slaughter back, thought that maybe he could be good. Uh, how much did this rest and open week help him, and will he be able to play for you this weekend? Yeah, um, important for Danico, important for some other guys, inevitably in, in this game and certainly in this league. Um, it's a physical battle every time you're out on the football field. So, uh, Danico, we anticipate being ready to play. Uh, again, he's got to go through the week and, and, uh, and be in the right position, but anticipate that happening there's a pretty good game out in uh, Dallas this week the Red River rivalry something like that <laughs> I was wondering if you uh, got a chance to watch that game uh, I saw the last drive um, great job by by Dylan in, in that offensive unit um, that was not the game that I was watching uh, early in the in the day all right, all right awesome y'all have a great one